Alrighty folks, we're going to be installing some gear track on my Old Town Autopilot 120. As you can see, there is a flat surface here, so there's some gear tracks back here. But I want to put one on this side and that side. And I measured it out and kind of eyeballed it. Eight inches is going to be perfect. So I'm going to use this Yak Attack gear track that's heavy duty, it's metal. And what's cool about this one is you don't have to, like the other ones where you had to slide something on like that, you don't have to do that anymore. This one, you can top load. So you just angle it in, and there you go. Okay, pretty much comes with everything that you need. It comes with the stainless steel screws. You're gonna need uh, a marker, some silicone, and don't be like me. I meant to buy a box of clear, and guess what? It's white. It'll be all right. A screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a drill, and then an impact driver and some shop towels or paper towels. So first thing, just clear the surface off. And one of the important things is when you measure this, it has to be on a flat surface. So don't start creeping up there because again, that gap is gonna be a problem. So do it as flat as you can. The first thing you're gonna do is once you've positioned it, you're gonna mark that first hole. It could be on this side or this side, uh, but that's gonna be your anchor point. Okay, real quick, before you start drilling into here, the first thing you want to do is, if you can, look inside the hole to see if there's anything underneath here that you might damage from drilling or screwing into. I'm not going to use backing plates, but that's also something that you can do if you use the rigging bullets from Yak Attack. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, I've marked out where I want this, so the first thing I'm going to do is just mark right there. Just put a little dot where I want that first hole. You want to use a 1 8 inch drill bit and go ahead and just slowly drill into that first hole. Once you've done that, just want to put a little silicone. Again, preferably not white. So you don't have to use power tools and you probably shouldn't, but I like to do it. Not, I like to do it all the way till it's almost tight and then I'll finish it with hand screwdriver okay here we go and that's it that's our anchor point and we'll cinch it down a little bit more later but this gives us a way where we can just go ahead and uh, drill the other holes so we'll do this corner next same thing just get some silicone You don't need a lot, just a little dab in there. All right, so I drilled out the six holes and I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little silicone to each of these. Okay, all the screws are in, filled with silicone. Now I'm just gonna go in and tighten it, hand tighten it, and we'll do caddy corner. So get your shop towel and clean off any excess silicone, but that is it. Super simple to install. And again, this is the top loading, which is a nice feature. You just kind of angle it in and there you go. That is it. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care.